Hi, this is Will Cook with the Will Cook Group. Welcome back to my video blog and Happy New Year. Today, we're going to talk about what could happen in the real estate market in 2023. Will we see a continuation of the downward trend that we've been in? Will it get worse or will the market reverse? I believe that it will be a tale of two halves like the market we experienced in 2022. In the first half of 2023, we'll see a continuation of the market we're in now where sellers are reluctant to sell and give up their sub 3% interest rates and where buyer's demand has been greatly diminished by affordability issues because of dramatically increased interest rates. Of course, deals are still happening and they're still underway, and we expect the volume to remain well below what we've seen in the last seven to 10 years. Even though inflation is still moderating, there still remains so much uncertainty in the economy for the market to fully stabilize. Hopefully, during the first half of 2023, we will see inflation come down and we will have more clarity around what's going on in the global economy. But what really matters for housing volume and home prices is one thing, affordability. If housing stays as unaffordable as it is now, sales volume and appreciation will stay low. If affordability recovers, we expect the housing market to stabilize and perhaps even see a modest recovery by the end of 2023. So the big question is, will affordability improve in 2023? Affordability is made up of three factors, real wages, home prices, and mortgage rates. Affordability can improve if wages go up or if home prices or mortgage rates decline. So let's take a look at the possibility of any of these things happening. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, real wages, which are inflation adjusted, are down about 2% year over year. But they've ticked up about 0.5% since September. Nominal non-inflation adjusted wages are actually up a lot, but inflation is too high and has wiped out most of those gains. Although it's a positive sign that real wages have ticked up a bit, it's very modest. And it's possible that as inflation moderates, real wages will go up, but I find it unlikely that that will happen in a meaningful way. To me, concerns about the slowing economy will slow the pace of wage growth alongside increased inflation. Therefore, it's possible that no real progress on wages are going to be made. One area where affordability is likely to improve is home prices. Residential real estate prices will likely see a year-over-year -year small decline nationally, making homes a little more affordable. But for affordability to really improve, we'd need to see prices drop by more than 10%. And it's very unclear if that will happen. If prices drop at all and by how much will very much depend on mortgage rates. Mortgage rates are not directly tied to the federal funds rate. Instead, it's very closely tied to 10-year treasuries. So in a way, mortgage rates are more influenced by bond investors than they are by the Fed. It's confusing, I know. But over the last several weeks, bond yields have fallen for two reasons. First, inflation is moderating faster than expected, which tends to cause a rally in bonds sending bond yields down. And secondly, there have been fears of a global recession sending global investors to the safety of U.S. Treasuries, which pushes the bond prices up and bond yields down. When bond yields fall, mortgage rates also tend to fall, which is exactly what we're starting to see. So mortgage rates may fall this year and end somewhere in the five and a half to six and a half percent range down from the most recent peak of 7.23% that we saw in October of 2022. In conclusion, if the premise that the 2023 housing market hinges on affordability is correct, then there are two plausible outcomes for the second half of 2023. 
First, mortgage rates fall along with modest price declines of less than 10%, combining to increase affordability during the second half of 2023. This would likely cause a bottoming of the housing market in Q1 2024, and we'd start to see growth in the market again come early in 2024. The other option is affordability doesn't improve in 2023, probably due to persistently high inflation and mortgage rates. If that happens, the second half of 2023 will look like the first half of 2023, and we're likely in for a longer correction. In this scenario, we will probably see housing prices drop 10 to 20% over the next two years, and we won't see a bottoming of the market until late 2024, early 2025. It's tough to know exactly what will happen. Given the amount of economic uncertainty, as, th as of this video, I think the first scenario is more likely given the recent trends in inflation and bond yields, but both options are reasonably likely at this point. Unfortunately, the next 12 months are pretty cloudy at best. If you'd like some assistance in helping navigate this market, if you're looking to sell a home or purchase a home in the greater Palm Springs area, we would love to help you. Please feel free to reach out to us, give us a call, text, or an email. Also, if you have any other real estate related topics or questions that I can answer, reach out to me for those as well, and I'll make a video about it. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.